Welcome everybody back to round five of American Rally Association presented by Dirtfish. We are here in beautiful Maine for the New England Forest Rally. Now this is actually the 30th anniversary of this rally when it became a national rally back in 1991. We're gonna have two wonderful days of stages. And where I'm at right now, we're at Concord Pond. You probably have heard of this. Concord Pond is known for its infamous Concord Pond jump. And if you guys saw the rally back in 2009, 19. You saw Barry McKenna come down here, hit that jump, and land pretty far. So we know we're going to be looking forward to that. And of course, this is going to be a spectator stage, which is always great. So welcome back, fans. Now for Friday, we're going to have five stages. And Concord Pond is actually going to be stage one and two. And that is going to be ran back to back with 5.37 miles for this particular stage that we're on right now. And then going into Saturday, we're going to be running nine stages. The first four are going to do two stages each finishing it off with stage 14 and that's going to be ran once and you know what's really unique all of these stages were actually used in 2019 for that rally since we did take 2020 off but except one beaver pond and that's actually going to be stage four and that one hasn't been driven on or used as a stage since about 2004 but if we're looking at you know some of the stages they're fast they're twisty they're about a lane and a half wide and they're very groomed logging roads but if we look down here you're going to notice that on some of the stages you have some of these rocks poking out that's going to add a little grip to it but then next to it you have some loose gravel that you see right here so this is going to be quite interesting this is a fast paced rally this is a high pressure rally so that means recce notes are important and with that being said as well anything could happen, especially here on Concord Pond. New England Forest Rally is known for the fast stages. We even have a 16 mile stage on Friday, but there are over 400 transit miles for this rally this weekend and only 108 stage miles. So with that being said, the drivers and co-drivers are gonna have to stay in the game when they're transiting from one stage to the next and make sure that they're on top of all their notes. And we've always talked about this before, the weather is definitely gonna play a factor. Tonight, we're gonna get some rain and that's actually gonna lead in to tomorrow's rally for stage one and two. And like I said, Concord Pond has tons of crests, tons of jumps, and of course, it's a little grippy, but in some spots with that rain, it could get slick. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Head over to dirtfish.com for all the latest and greatest from the New England Forest Rally.